Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Paul Picasso. What's going on everybody? It is tech time again. Today is Monday, January the 27th in 2014 and I am bringing you an app uh, review slash tutorial. So, you know, without any hesitation, let's get right into it. Let's go. Okay guys, and today's app is a great app. It is Widget Locker. And of course, for those of you who don't know, um, I love to use Widget Locker on all my devices. This is my Kindle Fire HD uh, 7 inch right now. I use Widget Locker on all my devices. Let's go and jump right into the configuration. I'm gonna scroll all the way down here and uh, widget locker of course cover lock screen is another great lock screen I do have the review on that uh, the links for that will be in the description and uh, yeah there's a few more lock screens actually that I will be doing a review on in the future uh, for right now let's get on with this uh, tutorial slash uh, review let's go okay so guys uh, basically this just you know gives you a little bit of instruction on widget locker tells you what to do blah 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 blah. place a new item simply so you know hence the name widget locker um, basically you're able to put widgets on your lock screen let's go ahead and just hit continue which is right here you guys probably can't see that um, it's giving you some instructions lock mode and tool mode basically lock mode is when you actually turn off the device turn it back on you can't edit anything um, you can turn that on if you want but you know why would you and then tool mode is where you actually uh, put things on the uh, lock screen so let's go ahead and skip then sliders which is the custom sliders it gives you information there which I'm going to show you all layout the anchor and the main grid I'm going to show you guys all that so let's just go ahead and get right into it so this is the initial uh, lock screen for widget locker um, this little indicator lets you know you're in tool mode okay so if you don't see that you're not in tool mode so we should be able to long press there you go and you get the option to edit remove resize let's go ahead and remove that and should get the same there you go the resize um, I don't think it's resizing because it's in portrait mode okay all right, so what we're going to do is go ahead and um, to enter the settings, you just want to go and hit that little thing right there for tool mode. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do so we get a better layout is go to look and feel and put screen orientation to sensor. Okay, so now I can go ahead and put this bad boy like that. We are now in Widget Locker settings. Buttons and inputs, first of all. Um, so you have easy wake mode, uh, you can press any hardware key to wake up the device, unlock easy, back button unlock, um, the duration. Now this is the thing, left bezel for apps and right bezel for camera. So let's go ahead and show you what that is. So let's go all the way back. So now here we are, we're on the lock screen. Here's that little lock thing there so we can move it around. Um, I need to resize it, it's basically just stuck in one place. Uh, yeah there we go so that's resized um, so there's unlock and camera and all that stuff now left bezel for apps so what it is when you slide from the left you get a little you know hide that place there where you can put your apps and those sort of things okay I don't usually use it um, but uh, you can always do that if you long press on the name you can um, you know you can type whatever you want blah 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 and there it is up there and then also and then also yes that's my daughter in the back she's playing with her brother he's giving her some trouble now you can reorganize these things just by simply long pressing long pressing on them and moving them around or you can long press and edit you know edit the name edit the application or remove and of course to add you just press the little cross button up there and you can add applications or shortcuts okay and then right bezel for camera even though you have camera here maybe you don't want it there maybe you just want a simple tap button which I'll get to in a minute you can just write oops, sorry you can just write bezel oh yeah I have um I have pie controls on that side so it might give me a little problem there you go so you can just write bezel for camera okay as you can see there's the camera okay and uh, yeah that's it look and feel now you can choose alternative wallpaper which I usually do so I'll click it then you can select the wallpaper and then background tint now background tint I don't use background tint so I just remove that 
okay but you can tint it any way you want let's go back in there and show you you can tint up uh, this down here this side is for the actual uh, lock I'll show you that because as you see this side's getting dark and the next side isn't um, likewise this side as well so we'll go back and I'll show you why that is and that's mainly because of layout so when you go into layout you have a section which is the top section this is the anchor this little arrow here that is the anchor where you can adjust what section is for the lock as you can see uh, these little slide tabs here which is you know regard it um, resembles that old time lock on some of the older Android devices where you just slide to camera slide to unlock or slide to put your phone on silent stuff like that so this is it in portrait and this is it in landscape I usually just go for the whole darn thing and then over here where you have um, automatically determines grid size um, I always uncheck that and I usually have it at a 9 by 7 which is what I'm gonna leave it at right there now of course the locks gone but you can simply just input a new lock and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now let's go back and here we are now on the lock screen this is the lock screen how do you know because we have the little tool icon in the upper uh, right corner right there okay so what you want to do is hold on then you get the mat the menu at the lock screen custom slider application shortcut or widget um, for the lock because if you get out of this you won't be able to well um, I don't think it will actually lock unless there's a lock on it so let's go ahead for custom slider now there's tons of custom sliders that you can use okay and uh, as soon as you see here as you see here get themes or get themes from XDA so obviously I got a bunch and so oh it's actually not here okay but anyways I did download one from XDA which is the long white bar uh, iPhone style there's a lot of different styles so I'm just gonna go with the white bar there it is and that's it you slide this and that will unlock your device while in tool mode when you do so we'll go ahead and hit done here's the long bar I can just hold on it and then I'm going to resize it I'm going to resize now I have a lot of other things on it see if I can resize from this angle there we go resize and then I'm going to go and put it right in the middle uh, close to the middle let's resize do, 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 do. about right there is actually good and right there uh, I'm gonna get a little bigger actually right there to right there and about right there let's bring that down there we go so that's it now if I go like that that's going to unlock it and we'll come out of tool mode but let's go back into that so I can show you basically what to do now you can actually there is one here that's a little invisible because there's always things like these with two ends there's always one on this side now when you slide that one as you see the green line you're working on that side but I don't want to do that so I'm gonna just click disabled we're gonna slide the right side and what I'm gonna do is actually go to application oh, sorry not applications um, that's gonna take a little while there we go so not applications so now you see the green line on that little white circle dot that so we're gonna go to widget locker actions and it's going to be the unlock but I want to change the icon so you click icon and then I will go to icon pack and I'm going to use the lucent icons because that's the icon that I'm using and basically you just find any icon you want to use and put it on that so I'm actually going to look for that lock there's a lock right there I'm gonna select it and there it is now it is the lock I'm gonna click done voila now it is the icon has changed basically see there you go alright and uh, let's go back into tool mode on lock screens I hate to see the notification bars so we're gonna get rid of that as well let's go back into look and feel uh, we've got the layout figured out as I showed you guys right um, we're gonna get into actually placing a widget on there shortly labeling shortcuts I don't like unlock animation I actually like slide it kind of slides to the right uh, hide notification bar which is the top bar of course I'm gonna do that and uh, transparent notification in case I want to slide it down to see what my notifications are but it won't be able to expand and it will go away of course um, running KitKat so let's go back uh, behavior now behavior appear on boot 
uh, sound lock, sound to unlock. You usually get advised to um, disable the default system sound lock because it might co uh, um, it might uh, cause trouble with widget lockers, sound lock, long press search mode, notification launch mode, all those things you can mess around with. Um, now here we go, advanced settings. Okay, I usually turn off my stock lock screen anyways. I put it to none instead of slide. So here we go with home helper. So this is going to help with, um, you know, when you press home that it actually goes to the home, but it, it also helps to keep widget locker. Um, basically, Android doesn't kill, you know, your device doesn't kill widget locker. Okay, so home helpers launcher, and it's going to tell you. So the launcher is going to be Nova launcher, which is what I'm using. And then I never bother with select system home, which it says actual home app used to enable and disable home helper. That always, um, for me, it never brings me home. So it always causes a problem. So I never leave, I just leave it alone. Home helper block home. So when you're on the lock screen, by pressing the actual home button, if you have one, it won't unlock your device and go to home. And then block home and other apps. I like to select that as well. Let's go back. Then we have root helper. Uh, of course, my Kindle is rooted. So I like to enable root helper and then use it for the navigation bar um, again this is the top one for navigation bar recommended if disable notification bar is set this will use root to do so rather than the standard method this one is also recommended this will use root to remove the back home recent app buttons from the navigation bar I always do that as well I just I disable the nav search button uh, hide clock I leave that auto swipe for pen um, auto swipe the system lock screen if it appears before pen blah, 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 blah. and of course home helper via root so those I always check and then I always check widget overlap and that's about it that's basically basically it let's go back to the home to the lock screen and as you see now we still have let me get a little focus here as you see now we still have the tool mode icon up here in the top let's just bring it up there a little bit there we go we still have the tool mode but now you see the notification bar is gone and if I swipe down it comes there it is invisible and it's only doing this because I'm in tool mode okay um, did I keep that I can't remember if I kept oh I did keep it and there you go that is just a quick look at widget locker um to add in widgets let's just go ahead and add some other widgets because you know hence the name widget locker let's go ahead and add a widget uh, let's see what we got here do, 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 do. okay so we got a few widgets that we can add so what I will do is go ahead and add Google Play Music um, you're gonna get this after you create the widget widget logger can access all data it displays uh, So I always just you know allow create and there you go So now it's uh, you know, that's what's good about it. This is your lock screen You can just go ahead and add whatever widget you want and there you go. There it is. Let's go ahead hit play I Think the volume might be down. Let's go ahead. There you go okay simple as that we got that so we got that widget let's go ahead and add another widget oh that's a slider uh, let's cancel that don't save changes let's go ahead and add another widget oops we go add another widget Doop, 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 doop. takes just you know just a few seconds to bring that up let's go with any do let's bring up uh, three by three scrollable if there's space that there we go and I'll put that up there and there it's scrollable which is uh, of course you know a little uh, task thing basically I'm gonna put it over here and widgets can overlap but as you see I cannot just place it on top of another widget but what I can do because we did enable overlapping is shrink it bring it there and then for whatever reason if you want to overlap you can do so so I can do something like that which kind of looks cool, but not really in the same sense. <laughs> okay, and that's it guys that is a look on widget locker lock screen literally to me one of the greatest lock screens just because you can do so much again cover lock screen is another great lock screen there's locker uh, what's it called locker pro lock screen that's another great one and that is the quick look at widget locker lock screen guys it's a boy Paul Picasso you know if you like the video please hit the thumbs up leave a like leave a comment you know if you have any questions let me know I'll try my best to help put out um, you know get at me
me, Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, you know the deal. Peace.